Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the docking background image feature located within the page settings. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Now the docking background image feature, unfortunately this is something I did not know before I made the tracing mini series. So I might have to add this to that series because it's quite a fancy feature. So now what we've got here is um, um, under our actual page settings, if we go to docking background image, we have a few different options here. So first of all, we've got the location. So where um, the image will be imported to. So we had to go to file here and we go import uh, background. Then we can select the image. This is ideal for tracing. And then you can see our images in there. Now, if we go to page settings again, we can we have this button here, clear background. So if we click that, it will actually remove that background again. So in case you need to change it. Now, obviously you can set the origin of where you want it to import to. So top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Now, let's say you've got an image imported. Let's import it quick. Ah, sorry, wrong. So not import, import background. Let's grab that star. And then if we go to that same place, so config, page settings, then you'll see on the right here we've got image size. So now over here we can set in custom um, sizes. So if we want to scale it up or scale it down, we also have the lock, which will lock these two values relative to each other. So it's a bit like locking your perspective with that lock button on top there. So let's say we make this about 400, then you'll see it automatically updates the right value as well. Now, something to keep in mind, if you click OK, nothing's going to happen. You have to actually go modify size. Now, once we click that, as you can see in the background, it is scale. And now if you want to trace over this, it is rather simple because it's nothing it wants to um, stick to because the image is actually a background image. So like I said, if I knew this on the mini series, unfortunately I did not, life would have been way easier. So I'll definitely have to update that. But yeah, otherwise I think that concludes our mini series. Let's just see if there's anything else. Now we've covered everything on here. So our mini series on page settings. So thanks guys again for joining me on another series. And then, yeah, if we head here to softwaretraining.ca.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to the cover. And also, you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply uh, go here, request a training video, fill in the new form, and uh, let us know which software it's for. Then we'll do our best to try and make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.